in the plants carbohydrates are produced by photosynthesis and you know carbohydrates are made up of three elements carbon hydrogen and oxygen but in the plants there are other nutrients also like protein and protein in addition to carbon hydrogen and oxygen also contains nitrogen fats contain only carbon hydrogen and oxygen so no problem now what happens in the case of proteins it requires nitrogen also from where will we get nitrogen of course you will say there is so much of nitrogen in air actually the large part of air is nothing but nitrogen there is about 78.8 percent nitrogen but this nitrogen plants do not have the capacity to absorb so what do they do how do they get nitrogen we know that they do have proteins plant proteins are there gram pulses etc are all rich in proteins though plants cannot directly utilize nitrogen but there are some bacteria and blue green plants which can change this nitrogen into usable form of nitrogen containing compounds there are also bacteria in some plants like plants like pea gram beans pulses they all have special type of roots which are called nodulated roots these are called nodules in which there are bacteria like rhizobium this bacteria can change nitrogen into nitrogen compounds so now these nitrogenous compounds are there in the soil or inside the plant so once nitrogen enters the plant body then it can make protein so carbon hydrogen and oxygen is available through carbon dioxide and water and nitrogen comes from air but indirectly not directly as in the case of carbon dioxide and water it comes via bacteria so this is how the nitrogenous compounds come in the soil but you know we keep growing crops year after year and they keep using up or utilizing the nitrogenous compounds then doesn't soil become deficient what will happen if you are drawing money from your bank all the time your account will be nil so if we also keep drawing or the plants keep drawing the nitrogenous compounds what will be left in the soil and that is why the farmers use fertilizers they add fertilizers so that the components can be replenished the soil can be replenished with elements like nitrogen sulfur potassium phosphorus especially nitrogen phosphorus and potassium that is why many fertilizers are called npk k is the symbol for potassium p for phosphorus so this is how a farmer consciously adds these components but otherwise the nature also provides and that is through bacteria so this is how the soil gets replenished by the bacteria